This has almost 40 grams of protein in it. It's only 200 calories. That's an insane amount of food. Welcome back to the Anabolic Cub, where we make anabolic deliciousness. We're back inside my kitchen today, and we're doing a recipe review that I saw from Nicole Burgess. She has a great channel. I'll link it in the description box below. She does a ton of meal plans. She's been on this low carb cut program. She's been doing a meal plan every week for about the last four or five weeks. She lays out the plan at the beginning of the week, and then she shows you in a vlog style format what she does during the week for her workouts and what she eats. Fantastic, definitely recommend you check it out. One of the recipes that I saw on there was this protein angel food cake that is almost 40 grams of protein and so much volume, I just had to try it. So we're gonna take a look at it today. So with no further ado, let's get things started by having a look at the ingredients. Here we go. Vanilla-based whey casein blend, cream of tartar, vanilla extract. The recipe calls for stevia, but we're using Swerve. Granular, real eggs, no yolks, strawberries, sugar-free Hershey's chocolate syrup. This is a super simple recipe to put together. There's not a lot of ingredients, but I think I may lose a few of you once I mention now that it requires using a hand mixer. So hopefully you have a hand mixer if you want to make this. Heck, if you have a Ninja Blender, you probably have a hand mixer. If you don't, time to start adulting a little bit. Get yourself one of these hand mixers. They're not a lot of money. Anyway, I digress, let's get back to the recipe. I've taken seven eggs and separated the yolks and put it in this large mixing bowl. Apparently, the egg whites from a carton will not work. They do not fluff up as well because they've been pasteurized. Unless you can find unpasteurized carton of egg whites, you're gonna have to do it this way. It does take a little bit more time to separate the egg yolks, but not a ton of time. And after that, it's all downhill. But after you have your egg whites ready to go, you have to put in two ingredients to get things started here. Five packets or five grams of Truvia is what's recommended in the recipe. It's a Stevia brand. I'm gonna be using Swerve instead as a substitute. Hopefully it works just as well. Obviously we're gonna find out. We need five grams of that that we're gonna put in now. Then you need one teaspoon or 4.2 grams of your vanilla extract. If you don't have a point scale, you can probably just put in four grams. Not gonna make a huge difference here. After we have those two ingredients added into our mixing bowl, the recipe calls for next to beat it <laughs> on a high setting until stiff peaks form, usually about two minutes. I have no idea what that means, so I'm just going to beat it here on a high setting <laughs> for two minutes. Here we go. Okay, so now I know what it means. <laughs> It foamed up pretty high here. Probably why you don't want to use the egg whites. I think the pasteurization process that cooks some of the egg white and whatever else the pasteurization process does to make it not, I don't know, salmonella E <laughs> probably prevents this type of foaming to occur. So could be worth the time to do the regular eggs and just separate the egg yolks. I don't know, maybe I'll try it again with the regular carton egg whites and see what happens. But nonetheless, I digress. We're done here. We're all learning here. Next step is to fold in 18 grams of our whey casein blend here. It emphasizes to do it very gently and to not over mix it. So that's what we're gonna do. So I just reread the recipe and I noticed that it doesn't mention when to put in the cream of tartare. Not sure if I was supposed to beat it in with everything else or if I'm supposed to put it in now with the protein. It doesn't really say, which is probably why Nicole had this problem the first time she made it and she mentioned it on her vlog. She forgot to put in the cream of tartare and it totally kills the volume on this, but I guess what I'll do is fold it in with the protein mixture and we'll see what happens here. So guess that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna add in one teaspoon or 3.38 grams of the cream of tartare. I'm just gonna sprinkle it over the top and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the protein and just fold it all in and heck, we'll see what happens. Then our 18 grams of whey casein blend. And we gently fold. I'm gonna be extra careful not to overmix. So if I undermix, I undermix. So the recipe says to use a bunt cake or ring pan for this. I don't have one of those. So I'm gonna use a regular old pie plate here. I noticed the second time Nicole made it, she used the disposable version of this. So I'm hoping it works as well for me here as it did for her. High capacity nonstick cooking spray loaded, fire away. Then we just 
add in what's in our bowl to the pan. And if it looks anything like Nicole's, this is gonna be more volume than last time after it comes out of the oven. So our final step here in our preheated oven that we have at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius, we're going to put this in there for 20 minutes. Then we're gonna let it cool, put on our topping, and it's over to the taste test table. And after 20 minutes, Took it out of the oven here and it definitely seems to be more volume than last time. I do think there is some air in there. <laughs> it's going to deflate a little bit, but if the quantity is anything like I saw on Nicole's video, there's still gonna be quite a bit of this left for that bowl and those two toppings. So we're gonna let this finish cooling off and then we're gonna put it into the bowl, put on our topping and head over to the taste test table. We're back at the taste test table yet again to try our protein angel food cake. Put our topping on there. We have more strawberries than last time and some sugar-free chocolate syrup on there. It looks absolutely delicious. It smells delicious. There is a ton of volume here. You guys can take a look and see what it looks like. You don't even need to have that many strawberries in there. I just happen to like a lot of strawberries. Let's get right to our taste test here. This has almost 40 grams of protein in it. It is about 200 calories, maybe a little bit more with the strawberries and the chocolate syrup on there. If you just had the angel food cake itself, it's 162 calories for that much volume. That's just insane. So. We know it's a lot of volume. We know it smells good. Let's find out if it tastes good. First bite, best bite, always, never gonna change my mind. Here we go. Everything. Mm. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. I wasn't expecting it to be that sweet with only the five grams of sweetener in there, but it actually does a nice job mixing in with the protein powder to give it a good level of sweetness. Mm. I did my best to cut it up, but obviously I didn't cut it up well enough. But either way, try it. Just spill the strawberry. Mmm. Mm. Oh, it's good. Yeah, lots of flavor, lots of sweetness. It is better though with the strawberries, I think. Yeah. Better with the strawberry. And there's just so much of it. For only 200 calories, it's an insane amount of food. Even if you just had the angel food cake, it would be a ton of volume and you're looking at 162 calories. I mean, it's a no-brainer. Super simple to make. If you don't mind doing your own egg whites from regular eggs, removing the yolks, it is a little time consuming, but it's not that time consuming. It is an extra step. I'd be curious to try it with egg whites in my carton to see how well it foams up. Like you saw, it did foam up really well with the egg whites from the real eggs. Maybe it does with the carton of eggs too, maybe not, maybe not as well. Regardless, it'd be worth giving it a try, I think just to see if we can make the recipe even simpler. But this right here, no brainer to have. 200 calories, give or take, maybe like 212 and 40 grams of protein almost. That is a great protein to calorie ratio. Can't beat it. Some protein bars that have less than 20 grams of protein have 200 calories in them, like the Anabar, but let's not go there. No, it doesn't taste as good as an Anabar, but there is a lot more volume here than you would get in any protein bar. It's just absolutely crazy. Now, even though it does shrink down significantly from when you take it out of the oven, there is still a lot of volume to it, especially when you add a low calorie fruit like the strawberries. It just increases the volume even more, just adds a little more flavor to it. The sweetness on its own in the cake is, is pretty good by itself, I would say. I might even add a little bit more to it if I was gonna make it again. I like my food really sweet. The level of sweetness for the five grams is on the money. So if you wanted to make it more of an authentic strawberry shortcake type recipe, which they do mention in the actual recipe, which I have linked down below in the description box, by the way, you could add in some whipped cream right on top. About two tablespoons of that would give you, for very few added calories, a little more flavor. I don't have any, not a big whipped cream fan, but nonetheless, could be another element to add in to make it more of an authentic strawberry shortcake type of dessert. Even with the strawberries though, this is really good. High volume, high protein, 
Definitely anabolic. Perfect recipe to have for a snack. Gonna by far get you to the next meal. This is gonna be something that's gonna keep you full. You might not even want your next meal. That's how much volume is in this. Please do go and take a look at the actual recipe that again, I have linked in the description box as well as Nicole Burgess's channel that I've also linked down there. Definitely go check out her meal plans, her vlogs. They are on the money. Gotta check them out. She definitely knows what she's doing. She's had a great, great fitness journey. So awesome to see a lot of success there. And it's meals like this that I believe have helped her get there. Anyway, it's getting to be about that time. I gotta get up out of here, so I'll see you in the next one.